Hello. Hello, everyone. Nice to see you. Hello. Hello. Come on in, guys. It's Bob, steampunk Bob, with a bunch of primary school children coming to visit. I'm Bob Carper, and I'm a performance artist um, that works across a number of uh, uh, disciplines in music and film and performance. The project I'm doing with People United at Lunsford Primary School is something called Treasure. So we're going to think of somebody with treasure. It could be a mom, it could be a dad, it could be an uncle, it could be a grand. My sister has a mister who looks like a blister. A mister like a blister, my sister. Oh, yeah! I'll be connecting the primary school students with the residents of two local care homes. Uh, Abbeyfield, St. Martin's, and Lavender's. We'll, we'll look at the idea of, of people you treasure in your lives. We're here from Lunsford Primary School. Who do you absolutely treasure? I treasured my sister. You she treasure was older. Sister. She just went for something that she was going to do and did it. Wow. And who was your dancing partner? Did you just have to go and meet people there or did you know? Oh, it's a different one every time. Oh, really? <laughs> Not everyone's going to be a celebrity. So a person can't grow up and say, okay, I'll be a celebrity and then people will admire me. I wanted to give, get across the idea that you can be someone who's admired, who is treasured. Um, anyone can be, and if we look at the kinds of behaviors, the kinds of ways, the kinds of values that people have, maybe that will help instill some of those in, in other people, whatever those values are, because everyone's different, everyone gets excited by different things. I play piano, I play the organ. I play the drum and, and the piano and yeah. guitar. How about you, Vera? Who do you treasure? Well, my friends, my next door neighbour, that's oh, that everything for me. Lovely. Because I had no family, and she called her, me her second mum. <laughs> Today, Gitika Partington, who is an amazing choir leader, is coming to the school. She'll teach the kids songs that the residents had said they like, their favorite songs. And from the list, Gitika chose Moon River, my Huckleberry friend. Yeah. Moon River, wider than a mile. Let's do that. Moon Wherever you going, I'm going your way. I'm fine, thank you. You know, you know the song. Your heart breaker, wherever you're going, I'm going your way. We're going into homes where people are, are 96 years old dealing with someone who's six years old. And there is an aspect that, that those people have seen so many changes through their lives. Um, and steampunk is, it's, it's a movement that, that looks at time in a, in a very fun way. So it takes time travel or future or, or technology from a period in the past. So it mixes time. And I think this project with the young people in the schools and the old people in the homes, it seems to fit. They ask me if I'm a time traveler too, and I, I say, no, I'm an artist, <laughs> I'm not a time traveler. Do you guys remember any stories that you heard from anybody about their lives and the people they treasured? Mary loved dancing. Her friend didn't like myths. 
This yeah, was Vera's friend, Bobby. Bobby. Yeah. Uh -huh. Mary was telling me that she met her husband when they were both in the Air Force during the Second World War. Mm -hmm. And he used to give her his chocolate ration. And she used to work in the kitchen and she used to give him a fried egg underneath his bit of toast. She used to sneak him an extra egg. So they got married. That's all it takes, apparently. This is the third month and we are going to act out stories in the lives of people who live at Lavenders and at Abbeyfield St. Martin's Care Home. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lunsford and Lavender Studios production of This Is Your Life. And Joan, your parents gave you advice on dancing. Go right ahead and say, hello mom. If I meet someone and I want to dance, what should I do with the dance? Go ahead. Hello mom. Mm -hmm. well, if I meet someone at the dance, what should I do at the dance? Oh, <laughs> Ask him first if you can dance with him. Okay. And then sort of say yes. And then you'll be away, won't you? <laughs> Fantastic! Cut! So we're going to transport them back in time. And then the jitterbug music starts. I did dance, yes, I love dancing. You love dancing. Well, I, I can't do it now, don't ask me to do it now. Bobby was your neighbor? Oh. Very lovely person. So he would give you chocolate and you would reciprocate with a fried egg. <laughs> And then the toast. Have you had a good day? So far? <laughs> and cut. That was lovely. So we've had a wonderful time coming here over the past few months. And I hope I hope the kids from Lunsford will come and continue to come to this home every month. <laughs> Luke says he wants to come every week. <laughs> I love work like this. I think uh, the young people and their approach to meeting other people, um, they don't come with preconceptions. They don't come with ideas of of how they should be. They may have those ideas, but, but they easily let them go, more easily than adults do, people who, who worry about imposing on someone or, or are they doing the right thing or how do I behave. They're, the people are just so genuine with everything they're doing and they're gentle. And the residents too were amazing with the young people. They focused right in on them. They listened to them. They listened hard to them and I think the young people felt that. They felt that they were actually connecting there. Today is, is a combination of the project. So the kids are going to be here with their families. Um, people from Lavenders and Abbey Field St. Martin's Care Homes are coming. And we're going to share the work that we've been doing over the past three months. You know what? You're in the movie today. Are you coming this evening? Yeah. Good, you're going to see yourself because you were one of the starring roles. I take the, the knowledge and the, the learning that intergenerational work is it's super valuable for both groups of people involved. And when you get interaction like this, it changes the idea of, of both what residents and homes are capable of and young people as well. It really, it's really, I think it's meant a lot to the people who have gone as well, the children who have gone there, to have interacted with other people like that. 
I feel very lucky and very privileged to have had this chance to be here with everyone too. It's, I've thought a lot about ways which we can join young people and people in care homes together and to actually have a project where it's worked so fabulously with such wonderful people. It's terrific. So thank you for having me. Thank you. And I'll come back. I'll come visit him.